All right, so I've already taken off my T-band belts going up and down here, the V-belts that drive the T-band. Next thing i got to do, I need to go ahead and extract my pin deflector boards because i got to get the roller out right here on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take off. I need, if you worked on these things before, uh, you need to take off. you got to use one lane as a runway to get everything out. So I need to go ahead and take off this side uh, pin deflector board and this side and as well as the other side. I'm actually working on this lane. This is the roller that I'm going to extract. Using a 13 millimeter socket. Got to go ahead and extract this one on this side as well. Right now I need to get 17 millimeter wrenches. I'm going to go ahead and break free the double bolt here down at the bottom. Yeah, you can see it. That double bolt right there on that uh, transport band. I need to break that free. I'm going to do that on both sides. off that spring. We're going to lift this pulley wheel straight up in the air so that the all thread rod comes out and then I'm going to flip it up all the way forward. Well, just up so I can grab it. I'm going to do the same to the other side. All right, here's where it comes into play that why you took the side shovel off of the lane on the right side of your screen, off of this lane. I'm going to be lifting up on the bottom of the roller under the transport band as I try and pull the whole thing, the whole system through. I did flip the all thread on the other side forward. As you can see it right there, it's flipped forward to go under the band. easy doing it with one person, but it is able to be done.
My bolt just got caught on the other side, my all thread, so I went ahead and tucked it in underneath the transport band bill. our rear roller. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and set it to the side. I'm going to bring it around on the inside, show you how I take out the front one, how I personally take it out. Everybody can do it whatever way they want to do it. I'm kind of lazy though. Either lazy or time saving, I'm not sure. That is on the way that I try to remove the front roller. Alright, you can lift it out whatever way whatever way you want to do. I like to save time, so I usually work a lot by myself. I come in from the back. I'm just leaning right over top. Since I took that back roller out, I got feet from my ankles between the elevator. I just come on over top of the impact strip. There's a roller coming right across the front here underneath me. I usually grab. You, you have to lift out from the side opposite of the ball door first. It's always got to come out that way because the plastic of the ball door is too thick. You try lifting it that way, you can't get the roller out. So I come over the top because I'm usually a one-man team doing this. I rest my head right against the actual lane itself, Put my, grip my fingers in the roller on the side opposite the ball door, lift up and out, and I push it out the same side that I lifted out first. That's what's coming out first. All right. Alright, so this, uh, this is an odd lane. So my ball door from the back is going to be on the left side of your screen. You saw me pop the roller out just a second ago. Right now I've got the roller laying across both transport man boards, tipped out this this direction towards me because this is the kick plate side, not the uh, ball door side. I'm just gonna grab the roller and just ease it on out. That's how to extract the transport band rollers.